Welcome to the video setup manual for your new HiPod Mobile. The version of the mobile shown here is the X6 and earlier. If you are converting to a mobile via your X7 mobile conversion ring, please view the video below. Let's begin by inserting the tubes into the mobile plate. To begin, take the mobile plate out of its protective case and put on the ground. Retract the kickstand and hold it down with your foot to allow for the tube setup. There is a yellow collar above a black cam lock system allowing you to swing it open. Once the yellow collar is opened, insert the tube into the black cam lock area. Close the yellow collar above the cam lock. Close the cam lock after adjusting if necessary for tightness so that the pull is snugly fit inside of this system. Once this is finished, you can tighten the wing nut on the yellow collar to secure the tube in place. Next we will attach the head to the HiPod tubes. Remove the HiPod head mechanism from your case. There is a pin at the top of the HiPod tube set that you can remove. Once removed, place your HiPod head in the groove that is left open and then replace the pin in its original position. Lightly tighten with your fingers and then remove the Allen key from the case allowing you to tighten the head firmly into position. On the HiPod head, there is a leveling bubble to ensure your camera shot will be even while in the air. Simply adjust the ratchet on the side to preference and then lock into place. The next step is to attach the handle to the HiPod tubes. Take your handle and then open the two adjustable clamps so that you can place the tube within. Then on the side, turn the screw until the clamps firmly secure the handle to the tube system. The HiPod head and handle are connected via two nylon ropes, both running down from the head and up from the handle. On the two cords coming out from the bottom of the HiPod handle, you will find two carabiner hooks. Attach these to the nylon ropes coming down from the HiPod head. Make sure the ropes coming out of the bottom of the HiPod handle go in opposite directions, meaning that in this camera view, one will go left and one will go right. Make sure that the ropes do not crisscross. This will allow the handle to turn, moving the head while the unit is in use. You will connect the cords together via the carabiner hooks on the cords coming up from the bottom of the HiPod handle. This will allow for a smooth and balanced motion from the HiPod handle to the head on top. Now we will mount the monitor and the bracket to the HiPod. The bracket itself is the same whether it is the X7 or the HiPod Mobile. However, when using the mobile, there is an insert that you will have to place into the bracket itself. For the X6 and before, you will have a silver bracket, and for the X7 and after, yours will be black. Once the insert for the bracket is ready, simply attach this piece to the HiPod tubes as such. Tighten the silver screw on the side to preference. Also, be aware of the black tip coming out from the other side of the bracket. This is where you will mount the monitor, and you will need to make sure that it is on the front of the unit where you will be standing. On the back of the monitor plate, there is a groove which allows you to place the plate onto the tip of the monitor bracket. It positions into place as such. There is a secondary screw on the monitor bracket that allows you to tighten the monitor into place. There is also a ratchet on the monitor bracket that allows you to release the clamp, adjust the screen to preference, and then close again to tighten. The HiPod video cable sends signal down to the LCD monitor from the camera. Notice the two different ends of the cable, as one will be elevated to the top, and the other will plug into the monitor at the bottom. The lower part of the cord connects to your remote, and the upper part of the cord connects to the camera. They will attach via the hooks, both on the top of the head and on the monitor bracket. The cable is coiled for your convenience. Simply attach to the hooks on the HiPod head and the monitor bracket. When fully charged, the LCD kit this battery the accessory monitor case. will power the device for 8 to 10 hours. Simply take the battery, position into the grooves on the back of the battery mounting plate, and slide into place. Take note that the pins are connected and positioned correctly on the battery. There are openings on the battery that will accept the pins. 
Now it's time to attach the LCD to the 31 foot video cable. Take the two yellow cords coming out of the LCD and connect them to both the yellow and red cord coming down from the cable. We're sending two video signals, the second through the audio line. To connect the LCD to its power source, simply take the black cord coming out of the monitor and plug it into either hole on the base of the battery plate. This will allow power to conduct from the battery to the monitor. The remote for the HiPod can be found in your accessory case. Simply take the remote and attach it to the plastic piece jutting out from the right side of the handle. Then take the end of the wire and connect it to the black cord coming down from the 30-foot video cable. You will have to line up a groove on the inside of these two cords so that they will connect. After connecting, you will be able to control record, zoom, sleep, wake, and still photo options on your camera. To allow for your camera to stay on while filming, you will need to open the LCD on the side of the camera, flip it forward, and then push it back to close. Then take your two remaining Sony cable kit cords, your D cable, and your length pigtail, and take the black open stereo jack, 2.5 in size, and plug in the length pigtail to the D cable. This allows for remote control signal to be sent from the camera to the controller below. Then take your camera and open up the panel on the side. You will find a port that looks like a half moon, or shaped like a D. Take the D cable and plug it into this port. At the top of the HiPod head, you will find a plate with two golden screws attached. Simply take your camera and position so you can see the mounting hole beneath. Then take one of the screws and sandwich the camera to the plate, from the screw beneath to the camera above. There's a secondary screw that will help to tighten the entire unit into place. Now it's time to connect the D cable and LANC cords to the 31 foot video cable. First, take the 3.5 stereo jack for LANC and connect the two black cords together. Then connect the remaining video cords, yellow to yellow and red to red. The remaining white cord will simply dangle on the side and will remain unused. At this point in the process, your unit is set to elevate. Your high pod should look like this while compressed, fully set up with the legs extended and all video cords attached. Now it's time to elevate the high pod tubes. There are six stages total, each that secures with a cam lock, opening as such. Once the lock is open, you can push the tube up to your desired height. Make sure that you don't push any further than the white line at the end of each length. Once you've reached the white line, simply close the cam lock and the pole will stay in place. To keep the video cord neat and out of the way of the cords reaching from the high pod handle up to the high pod head, we've included a strap of Velcro on each tube length. Simply open the Velcro piece and secure the cord inside.